we'll do it the long way around because I want to talk more about my shuttle. Yes, I know, selfish, but let's do it anyways. We want to pick up a good landing spot as far away as we can. Obviously, the closer we get to the planet, the better it's going to be. We'll have more eyes to see around. Not really more eyes, a better view. Let's just boost on to full speed. Keep our dampeners off. Nice. And we have planet gravity capture. It's gonna pull us straight down. We should start seeing the ADI, or the attitude display indicator here on the center panel. Starting to have that yellow marker called our velocity vector. You can see I'm moving the ship around and it's not changing the location of the velocity vector. That is because the chevron we're seeing is our nose. And because we have no thrust going anywhere, we're just going straight down. We have no uh, direction or uh, thrust in any direction. So it doesn't matter what we do with the shuttle. But since we're going down, I might as well go back to page one, turn off my engines, just to save more fuel. In reality, I believe they jettisoned any extra they had before re-entry, or even after re-entry. But don't bug me with that. And we'll turn on the dampeners, because we're going to need those. And since gravity is increasing, Preparing for our descent through the atmosphere, the re-entry, the dreaded re-entry. The reason I'm turning dampeners on is that even though we have no more thrusters remaining in our use, the ship has inbuilt atmospheric thrusters and it's been calibrated so that it acts like an, like the drag, basically. It's not enough to quite hover the aircraft, but it should be enough to slow us down and give us a nice glide home. You'll notice I have plenty of oxygen remaining, so those of you who want air tightness and actual cockpits, no worries really. This is very doable. We don't even have a spare tank or any passenger seat. You could easily put in more on the payload bay or on the nose cabin area. But it looks like a pretty damn flat ground underneath us. We'll see our SRVs, both from our current mission and our previous one. Down on the ground, nice and easy. Let's close our payload bay. We're approaching the atmosphere. Uh, not 25, but for, uh, from 20,000 to 10,000 is where I imagine we're starting to hit the atmosphere. If you can tell, we're slowly getting the blue refraction from the atmosphere. We're still going just down, 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 straight down. We're not moving anywhere, just plummeting towards the core of the planet. But that's fine. We want to go down as fast as we want. The real shuttle did speed limits, I believe. But since this is space engineers, I don't want to burden you too much with deadly atmospheric entries or whatever. This is more of a curiosity project. Now we're really starting to see the blue glow. And we want to be traveling belly first or bottom first to soak in all the heat from the atmospheric entry. Now, I don't know why it looks like we're going backwards, but it looks like we're going backwards. Just ignore it. We're going straight down, as proved by the ADI. We're heading straight down. 90 degrees down. We might do some location scouting, but since we already have this amazing flat plane, I think I will... I'll just maintain my current heading. Slightly to the left there should be a good gap in the mountains for us. It's good to do all the necessary alignment at this point because at the landing it's 
going to get tricky, as you will soon see. But I haven't built a uh, runway here. I'm not that good yet. Once I finish building my uh, mobile launcher platform and the crawler, I'll build a mock base around it. And it's going to have navigation waypoints on when to activate the approach mode, and so on and so forth. But until that happens, we're floating down. At 10,000, we should divert our gaze towards the uh, power read or the power draw. You can imagine it more as a uh, percentage of lift given. We'll start to see it rise after 10,000. Yes, it is. At 40%, uh, percent, we'll pitch our nose down some 30 degrees above our velocity vector. And we'll start dragging it with us to level us off. We'll start to see ground, I believe so. show us how to correct mistakes. Coming up nice and level. We've not slowed down, but rather turned our vertical velocity more into lateral velocity. And much like the space shuttle, we have no engines, no thrust. We're just gliding our way. Obviously, you can fulfill the entire mission from the cockpit view. But for the sake of this video, uh, it may be helpful to see the relationship between the terrain and you. We're perfectly level now. I'm going to turn on approach mode, which slightly reduces our lift. And as you can see on the ADI, the velocity vector starts going down. I might actually turn around and get us back to where we started. Plays out. Turn off approach mode. Start banking. And like before, we'll try to drag our velocity vector with us. But we are slowing down, so let's pitch down a bit. Give ourselves some velocity. there, but it's easy to correct. And we'll turn on, I mean turn off the approach mode so we can level off better. It looks like we're descending pretty nicely. We'll just keep toggling the approach mode on and off when we want to go down and on. Yes, that looks like a fine plane to land on. You might see the power start to soft landing. Open the payload bay door so we can get out and turn off the shuttle. Thank you for flying Octomus's space shuttle. 
Hope this helps you land your space shuttle easier. I think this is it. I'm off to build more space stuff. See you guys later.